Welcome back to The Game Closet. I am Dr. Scott, and now since many of you have your Atari 2600 Pluses in hand, it's time for Essential Atari 2600 Games Part 5. You may be building or rebuilding your Atari collection, and I'm here to help. Yes, I know you're dying to get into this, but please hit that subscribe button and the like mitten real fast, and let's jump in the fire. Fire, 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 fire. Style. Want to fight off some of Activision's spiders? Well, son, 1982 Spider Fighter is the place you do it. You blast spiders and other little ickies to save an orchard's crop of fruits. This is a challenging game where the bugs are relentlessly firing at you as they scurry about. Spiders and icky bug nests? Yuck. As much as I love Spider Fighter, well, I need a lot more practice at it because I stink. Fast Food is a surreal enough game that you may think it was made by surrealist painter Salvador Dali but it wasn't. It's so simple in concept, you're a pair of lifts chomping down on every piece of fast food thrown at you. Food Fight is a completely different game, Brother Bluto. While you're eating, gobble up as much as you can, but if you eat six purple pickles, the restaurant feels you've had your fill and closes for the night. It's fast moving fun that's surreally, <laughs> surreally in your face. You're so dumb. Well, that wasn't nice. Mattel made the Intellivision gaming console and they made games for Atari 2. Now that's double teaming. She plays for both teams. You play as Tron and you're in an arena playing the disc elimination tournament against various enemies. Tron can withstand multiple disc hits from enemies, but the enemies are eliminated with one hit. You can lock doors and escape through doors a la Pac-Man style. It can get fast paced, so watch your back, user. I have tons of nostalgia for Atari's ported Defender. While it's not a perfect port and it's not as close to the arcade version as Stargate is, Atari's Defender is the seventh highest selling Atari 2600 game at over 3 million copies sold. Defender is a horizontal shooter where your ship is defending astronauts on the planet's surface from various alien invaders that try to kidnap and mutate the astronauts. Due to creative decisions, Atari 2600's Defender looks and behaves a little differently in how it approaches weapons, fire, and hyperspace. Also, there are no mountains and astronauts, but cities and citizens. Ah, eh, potato, potato. It's different, but it's still good. Hey, it's why I played the hell out of this game in the 80s. Activision must have been taking a cue from Atari's Defender, then they said, how can we simplify that and take it up a notch? So they made a military helicopter shooter where you're protecting a convoy of trucks from enemy helicopters and jets. It's fast paced and of course it's fun and it takes a bit of patience to not just charge in and start blasting away because you'll get your butt handed to you. You know you've done well when you hit 1 million points. Now just ask Retro Bliss Gaming. He's done it. I sure haven't cuz I suck. <laughs> you suck. Hey look, it's Kaboom! A paddle game that I can actually play on the Atari 2600 Plus. Oh yeah, I just love playing. <gasps> so I can finally record some Atari 2600 paddle games for you and one of the most popular paddle games is Kaboom by Activision. The mad bomber is dropping bombs on you as quickly and as erratically as he can across the top of the screen. Your job is to catch the bombs in the three buckets with your paddle controller. The game gets faster and you lose one bucket every time you miss a bomb. The game is over when you kick your last bucket. Moon Patrol is yet another Atari arcade port. You control the moon buggy scrolling to the right on the moon surface. You must dodge craters, mines, and moon rocks while shooting down different types of UFOs. Some can create new craters for you to fall into. Interestingly, this is one of the first home console games I recall there being checkpoints. Now, it's certainly not as easy as it looks, and you can easily get caught up in Moon Patrol's gravity of moon bouncing fun. Third party developer Imagic reaped gold once again with their fantastically imaginative game Dragonfire. The two stage game has your player running across a castle drawbridge, dodging the dragon's blasts as you run toward the castle. Once inside the castle, you must dodge the fire blasts as you steal the dragon's treasures. Collect all of the loot to open the door to the next level. The next level begins with you on the drawbridge again. Dragonfire really keeps you on your toes and makes you wish for a pause button. How about another game involving fire? Fire, 
Fire. In Towering Inferno by U.S. Games, you are a firefighter looking for victims in a burning building, putting out fires as you go. There is a meter at the top of the screen that shows how many people you can save on that floor. Put out the flames with your fire hose on each level so you can reach the panel that opens the exit door. Get out as quickly as possible in order to save the remaining victims on your meter. It's not a graphics powerhouse by any means, but the gameplay is solid and something different from just shooting invaders, demons, birds, or dive bombing ships. Fire! I must admit, I didn't play Stampede until about eight or nine years ago. My younger son turned me on to it, and thankfully he did. Activision wants you to get those little doggies to get along by lassoing as many as you can without letting too many get past you. If three cows get past you, you're fired. You'll spend lots of time rustling up them little doggies. Just make sure you don't get put out to pasture. You're fired. Check out the Atari 2600 playlist at the end of the video or in the video description for more great Atari 2600 stuff. We'll see you soon. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please hit the like button because it helps the YouTube algorithm spread the video to more awesome people just like you. Subscribe for more here in Dr. Scott's Game Closet, and there's plenty more where this one came from, so click on a video for more video game shenanigans. We'll see you all very, very soon.